Hey everybody, uh, just giving you a quick update on what's going on. We've got a lot of transplants waiting to get dug into the ground, into their uh, 2020 homes. Uh, some are annuals, some are perennials. Um, we have an awful lot of excess tomatoes. Never have enough basil. I've got two pumpkins that need a home yet. And I have an awful lot of uh, tomatoes, an awful, awful lot. Uh, indigo has to find a home yet. Um, over here I've got eggplants. They have a home. They're just not going to go out just yet because we're going to get a little bit of cold in the evenings next week. Um, meanwhile, I have four tomatoes over here found a home. One tomato hiding back in here. And we're going to take a look around the rest of the yard. I've been uh, trimming the grass for mulch. Okay. Rain barrels are another project. They're not hooked up. However, you can see I've got a lot of tomatoes here. And a lot more tomatoes here. And we're going to sneak through what we call the secret garden. It's alongside the house. Um, what I did this year was decide to make a hedge. I laid down this stick right here. And that is a cutting from the elderberries. As you can see, I've got a lot of shoots now. And that's going to make a nice hedge. I threw some peas in here thinking maybe they'd climb up that and I'd maybe actually get a chance to um, string those up there. That's probably not going to happen. Just too much to do right now. But peas are there, at least if nothing else, then I'll have seed for next year or for the fall. We have one elderberry here, one elderberry here, and this is also from sticks that I've laid down. That over there is a skirt. I have a lot of skirt. I don't know where to find it. Homes. That's probably not eventually going to be a good location because of the amount of shade it gets over here. This only gets morning sun. Okay. So now we're coming up on the mandala garden. You can see I got all these weeds out. And I laid down a nice covering of sawdust mulch. And then I just chop and drop the, the uh, weeds right here to kind of make an edge or a berm. And they can just become next year's bed of something. Um, this is a little meadow spot here. I got echinacea in here. And um, those are old daffodils. And I put a cabbage on the end. We'll see how he likes it here. You can see I put in a cabbage here. This is a honeyberry. She's doing good. A couple more cabbages. I have rhubarb leaves around them. I read somewhere that it helps prevent uh, clubfoot if you actually plop a piece of rhubarb in a hole before you plant your cabbage. Um, Instead, I'm just chopping and dropping it for mulch. And back here, I've got a couple potatoes. Not as many came up as I'd hoped, but we've got some. It's a good start. Alright, so in here, we have tomatoes, and then we have ground ivy coming in from the neighbor's side of the fence and celery in front of that. This is a Walla Walla onion that came from that's from last year and I'm gonna let it go to seed and harvest the seeds and see if I can't get something to grow next year. I don't know we'll see. I don't even know if it'll go to seed. Um, there's a the cucumber again. I just harvested rhubarb and these little guys are covering up bean plants so the rabbit doesn't get them. That is another coral bell. 
So that's what we've got going on in here with celery. And some of the leeks did survive. You can see them there. So I've got a ring of leeks. And then I did plant um, national pickling cucumbers all in along this uh, fence here. So hopefully we get some good pickles going this year. I really miss pickles. Okay. And I, I did, <laughs> I did weed this pass, path. I did. It's already regrowing here. Um, in this section, this was pure weeds. Just pure weeds. And I got a chance to, um, pull a lot of those out and cut them back. Here I have another skirt. I think it's going to like it in here. There's borage, lamb's ear, um, garlic. And the center of that garlic is a stick. And it looks like it's mostly dead. But mostly dead, as we all know, means it's slightly alive. And it's very possible, very, very possible looking down here that maybe just maybe it might come back I might have to cut it I might have to cut it back because it might not have enough roots to support all of this stick here okay got my three pots of skirt still looking for a home three bushes of skirt behind them as I've been finding sunflowers I've been transplanting them so that we have, we'll have those behind. Um, this face is south. And this is our sage bush. And the sage is starting to think about blooming. Okay. And our current bushes, there's a red current on the end, a black current. And another red currant. We're going to have currants this year. It's the one thing the deer didn't um, chomp on. Um, there's plenty of space behind this guy. And if I can get to it, I want to put a trellis in there and maybe plant some Armenian cucumbers. A uh, little different than the national pickling cucumbers. So that's my goal for up here. Um, as you can see, this still didn't get done. Down here. Ooh, beautiful columbine. We have a lot of columbine growing this year, both pink and purple and bicolored. This, I believe, is St. John's wort. I think I put one in here last year. I didn't know it was going to get so big. Um, I have to do some research on that because it makes a dye stuff, and I'm really looking forward to working with it. Um, as you can see up here, I've got coreopsis and a lot of stuff that needs to be cut back. That lamb's ear is going to get removed because it moved over here and it looks beautiful in the neighbor's yard. Oh, wait, and there's more, and there's more. So that's, um, that's work yet to be done. Got some Nasty looking dandelions and thistles. Yeah, everything likes to grow here, even in the cracks. This didn't get done yet, but I did get some work done. This is looking a whole lot better. I've got coxcomb down here. There's still a few borage in there that might get pulled. Some dianthus in the back. Dianthus is a kind of carnation. And we have bachelor buttons, or some people call them cornflowers. More coxcomb. Some more borage that needs to be rehoused somewhere else. More dianthus. And then up here, I have uh, bachelor buttons. I put in two dahlias 
and I have amaranth going across the back. Now the amaranth is going to get really tall and that produces a huge comb which is um, it's in the quinoa family. It's really great for bread making. You cook it up like oatmeal and then use it in bread making and it's it's delicious. And then the other thing I got done is I got the nasturtiums in here. See I got this mulched. Um, Mother Nature does not like to be naked so it's best if you mulch her right away. It keeps the moisture in the soil, also keeps the soil cooler in the heat. Um, this guy right here is going to have to get moved. He's, that's not his, his place. But um, I have anise hyssop in here. And this is celery that overwintered. So we're hoping to be able to collect seed from that this year. The rest of this is coreopsis. The eventual goal is to get an entire row all the way down of Coriopsis. As you can see, I've relocated a couple in here. That dead stalk of uh, sunflower leftover from last year is just to prevent the deer from getting in there and wrecking things. They're very good at it. We've got bee balm. I took out a tremendous amount of crabgrass uh, through here. And also down here, I'm working right now on trimming this bush back. That's about as far as I got today. It was just too sunny. And then I've got to weed this out. This is um, some kind of mint. It needs to be cut back, but mostly the crabgrass has got to be pulled. This great guy right here is garlic. He's not supposed to be here, but he's here. So we'll take it, um, probably be ready to harvest in another month. And this is my new creation. Let's see if we can get it all in here. This is a trellis. Big trellis. I've got it secured with uh, rebar. And it is the one thing that I've been able to get to stay in here and not fall over. So the rebar keeps it from having the wind take it away. And what I've got are eight tomatoes in here. Um, and then there's two holy basil, um, oregano, oregano lives here wild, as does the garlic chives. Um, mowing this smells like pizza when you mow the grass here because it's not grass. Um, you can see I've got asparagus that tipped over, that's a female. Those are actually up in here. There's a section of asparagus. So, um, just leave that with the um, calendula. And then, put this guy in. That's lovage. And then, to protect the apple tree in here, what I did was I took a bunch of tomato cages, which are absolutely useless for tomatoes, and I circled the tree with tomato cages to keep the deer from eating it. So that's, it still needs to be weeded down below. The goal is to get the ground ivy out and to plant sweet potatoes. But I don't want to do that here until after June 1st when the weather settles. So those are still growing on my windowsill. Um, and you can see I put a plank in here to walk on so I'm not walking on the plants. And then this section in here that might get the indigo. That may be where I put the indigo. I'm going to do a little bit more research on Japanese indigo. It um, it looks like a vine. It's not supposed to be a vine, but it looks like a vine. So um, after I do a little bit more research, it might actually go on the posts on the other side of the tomatoes if it is an actual vine. If it's actually a bushy plant, then it'd be fine just behind those posts. Um, and then I don't know what I'll plant along the walkway, but um, that could happen. I only think I have four or five viable indigo plants. Um, they don't like it here. It's too cold, too wet, something. They're in pots, but they really didn't like it. 
As you can see, that is the work that's yet to be done. These guys turned out nice. They're like in their new digs. I've got tomatoes and I've got black hollyhocks in here. And so you can see, this is a display that I usually use in my business. And I've taken the post and I've got strings with clips. Let's see the clips. Those are tomato clips. And they go down, and there's another clip underneath on the tomato plant. Another one down here. Apparently these are Amish paste tomatoes. So um, that's what uh, this display looks like, which is really hard to get in a picture because of the angle here. So I'm really happy with these guys. They also got celery in between. I have a lot of celery this year. That's, we're gonna really enjoy that. The stuff here along the pathway is just a sedum. And those are, I think those are leftover daffodils that just didn't tie it back yet. And then this right here, is work for another day. I had carrots go to seed and they're everywhere. So um, mostly the crabgrass has got to get removed. That That is vital. So after the next really good rain, that's getting taken care of, as is that crabgrass down there. And then we should be able to get some more of the um, red amaranth in there, and that'll be nice. Anyway, have a good evening. Sun's going down. Take care.